Hey everyone, my name is Ian, also known as Not Ian Sands from Learn How to Edit Stuff. And in this video, I am very excited to take you guys on your first step into the effects part of Adobe After Effects. I will be walking you through a lot of fun stuff in this video series, and by the end of it, you will have made a logo animation that looks something like this. If you would like, as an added bonus, the project file for all these lessons is in the video description below, so go ahead and download that file. Otherwise, let's open up Adobe After Effects and explore some effects and presets. Okay, I've got After Effects open, and the first thing we're gonna cover is all the awesome effects and presets you have access to. First, come up here to Window, All Panels, so your workspace matches mine. Now you'll see a bunch of tabs on the right-hand side, including the Effects and Presets tab, and if you tool that open, there is a lot to look at, holy moly. Now, before you go crazy dragging and dropping stuff into your composition, let's first explore how to navigate and find effects and presets in Adobe After Effects. There's obviously this panel over here that we just covered, but if you don't have access to it or you just simply don't like using it, you can use the effect drop-down menu from the top. Under the animation tab right next to it, you can also click browse presets, which will open up Adobe Bridge, where you can see some of the presets visualized for you under the preview tab. The last way, and personally my favorite way, is using the effects console from Video Copilot, which allows you to hit control and spacebar from anywhere in After Effects, search for any given effect, and apply it directly to the layer without ever having to move your mouse. Well, how much do I have to pay for it? You, nothing, it's free. Thank you, Andrew Kramer. It's the best thing ever. Okay, we've covered the where, so let's cover the what. All of these effects. Now, if I were to try to show you every effect in After Effects, this video would be like three and a half hours long. So instead, what I'll do is give you the most important basics so that you can grow and explore on your own. Sound good? You don't really have a choice. When you apply any effect in After Effects, the chances are high that it will have one or multiple key frameable properties that you can manipulate. Any property with a stopwatch you see under effect controls can be animated, but sometimes when you drag and drop an effect onto something, like this page turn effect for example, it will look like nothing happened. But don't worry, I'm about to give you five tips that will always set you straight. Bookmark this video, write it down, do whatever you gotta do, but these five things are a good baseline for anybody. Number one, always scope out what is available in the Effect Controls tab. This will give you an indication of how much customization you have access to and generally what properties you're able to animate. For this page turn, it looks like we've got some decent animatable properties. Number two, if you see a little target, that usually means the effect will have some type of generation point. If I click and drag the target, you'll now see my layer folding over on itself. If you don't want to click and drag, you can single left click the target in effect controls, then single left click target to place it in your composition. Number three, effects carry significantly more weight when you animate them using keyframes, especially if an effect has multiple properties. For example, let's animate the fold position of our star and the fold radius. By animating both of these things independently, they form a more unique effect than just using one on its own, so definitely play around with a lot of those combinations. Number four, effects stack in a hierarchy just like layers. If you have multiple effects on a layer, they work from the top down, so all of the effects affect the one below it. Sometimes you can shuffle them around a bit and get a cool and different effect than you were hoping for. And finally, number five, less is more. Everything in moderation. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. You're not stupid, but you understand what I'm saying. Don't go too crazy on all the effects. Subtlety goes a long way, especially with motion design. So you can either take that advice or leave it. I don't care either way. I do care you should take it because it's actually, you, you should listen. So now before you watch the next few videos, I would spend a little bit of time just dropping random effects on your layer or on the little star guy if you downloaded the project file and just see what they all do. You'd honestly be surprised at how much you can learn just by messing around with things. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel so you can learn from more creators like myself. If you liked me, you can find me at youtube.com slash learn how to edit stuff. Thank you again for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.